This is Gene Key, KDDD, Texas News. WFAA.com reports a statewide manhunt comes to a positive end Monday. 11-year-old Jessica Smith had been reportedly abducted six days earlier by her mother, Kimberly Smith. The two were found in their vehicle nine miles south of Tres Pedras, New Mexico, in an area on the edge of Carson National Forest, 550 miles from home. The family car was found near the Carson National Monument. A deputy spotted Jessica and her mother along the remote highway about 30 feet off the pavement. According to police, Jessica did not appear to be physically injured, but Kimberly Smith was described as being out of control. Kimberly Smith will be extradited to Fort Worth on two felony warrants, aggravated assault, and endangering a child. WFAA.com reports one person was killed and two others were hospitalized Saturday morning after a fire consumed a Lancaster home. A man and a woman who had been in the house were taken to Parkland Hospital in Dallas with burn injuries. They were reported in good condition. Neighbors said the deceased was a family friend. Fire officials said it was fully involved on arrival, so there was no ability to save anyone who was inside. Investigators are looking into whether the freezing temperatures overnight contributed to the fire's cause. Neighbors said the couple sometimes slept in their car and that power had been cut off to the small two-bedroom home months ago. This is the fourth fatal house fire in North Texas this week and all seven people have been killed in the unrelated blazes. The Associated Press reports a Texas man accused of torturing his former neighbor on a deer skinning device went on trial today. Jury selection started today in Jeffrey Allen Maxwell's case. He's charged with two counts of aggravated sexual assault and one count of aggravated kidnapping. The 59-year-old faces up to life in prison if convicted. Authorities say Maxwell abducted his ex-neighbor at gunpoint last March from her home near Weatherford about 30 miles west of Fort Worth. He was arrested 12 days later at his Corsicana home, about 100 miles away, where the woman was rescued. Authorities say the woman apparently had spurned his advances several years ago when he lived near her. Maxwell remains jailed in Parker County in lieu of $500,000 bail. If you'd like the latest Dumas, Panhandle, and Texas news on your mobile device, you can follow KDDD News on YouTube. Simply search KDDD or Gene Key on Facebook or Twitter. This is Gene Key, KDDD, Texas News.